premature babies are not only prone to white matter injury, as shown previously, but they also have a high risk of intraventricular hemorrhage, which originates in the germinal matrix. This image has been shown repeatedly when discussing the different malformations of cortical development. In this 8 week old human embryo, there's a layer of cells deep to the ependymal lining of the ventricles with proliferating neurons, and this is called the germinal matrix. Originally, it surrounds the entire ventricle, but after the third month, it regresses and it disappears first around the third ventricle. And on these coronal images at different gestational ages, you can see how it then disappears around the temporal and occipital horns and the trigone. And at about 24 gestational weeks, there's only germinal matrix left overlying the head of the caudate nucleus at the caudothalamic notch or the caudothalamic groove. The germinal matrix where the hemorrhage originates has disappeared at about 32 gestational weeks because then all the neurons have migrated. And after 32 two weeks, there's no more or virtually no more germinal matrix hemorrhage or intraventricular hemorrhage. This is a human embryo of 20 weeks where you can see the caudate nucleus and the germinal matrix here in the darker purple color. And the germinal matrix has the same color as the cortical plate, and in between there's the white matter. And the germinal matrix is a transient structure, and it has a lot of vessels, and initially it was thought that the vessels in the germinal matrix were less strong because they were only temporary, and that their basal lamina lacked fibronectin, and that did and that that increased the risk of hemorrhage but more recently it has been shown that when staining the vessels in cortex white matter and germinal matrix for collagen they have about the same amount of collagen so the germinal matrix hemorrhage is mainly because of the changes in blood pressure and the high vascularity of the germinal matrix and not so much that the vessels are fragile in itself. Germinal matrix hemorrhage can be graded from grade 1 to 4. In grade 1 the hemorrhage is confined to the caudothalamic roof. In grade 2 there's also some intraventricular hemorrhage. In grade 3, there's intraventricular hemorrhage with dilatation of the ventricles. And in grade 4, because of the increased pressure, there's also parenchymal abnormalities because of the venous congestion and the venous infarction. And grade 3 and 4 have a bad outcome. Germinal Matrix hemorrhage is almost exclusively diagnosed on ultrasound because the premature babies are too fragile to transport to the MRI. But you can also see the germinal matrix on MRI. This is a preterm infant born at 24 weeks gestational age, MRI done at day 4, without signs of germinal matrix hemorrhage. And you can see that on the T1 weighted image, the cortex and the germinal matrix have the same signal intensity. And the same goes for the T2, where the germinal matrix and the cortical plate have low T2 signal. And you can tell that this is a very premature child because of the lack of gyration. Thanks for watching, and until next time, when we will 
go back to the epilepsy related abnormalities and hippocampal sclerosis and also a little bit about the embryology of the hippocampus.